Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to hang out in between videos, come check out the Discord. We're also doing exclusive content over on Patreon. We're in the middle of Produce 101. We're doing Up to Idol, as well as uh, Dreamcatcher Note this week, and Hotel de Luna. And then on the free tier, we are starting Level Up Project Season 3 this week. Uh, today, though, we are getting into some more post-dive content with Mamamoo. Uh, this time we have three special clips. Uh, one is an OST from Solar called Lean that came out a couple of weeks ago, but got pushed back because of uh, Hwasa's album. Uh, and then the other two are some special clips from Moonbeal's Starlet of Muse that uh, just dropped recently. So, let's check them out. All right, so first up we have Lean. Uh, as this is the only new song on the list, we will also do the lyrics after this one because uh, we only have auto-generated captions here. Um, so this is from a um, drama called Gyo Song Dong Creature, I think, right? Uh, two? Um, not really sure what it's about, but it's a fairly recent drama. Uh, drama that looks like it dropped on Netflix. So let's check it out. Mm. I didn't expect an English track. This looks like it's kind of like a dark supernatural action thing, maybe with a hint of romance in there. Okay. All right. So, well, turns out we didn't need a lyrics video. Um, and we, you know, won't use one. But um, the thing that kind of strikes me about this one is we didn't get that kind of big solar belty kind of sound from this. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, we got more of a delicate, vulnerable um, head voice kind of track where she was expressing like fear and pain and vulnerability for 
losing this other person in a difficult situation uh, than it was about, like, that kind of, you know, big, uh, dramatic moment that Solar can bring to a song. It's, you know, she's proven it time and time again that she can do whatever the hell she wants, um, whether it's, like, a real poppy kind of bop, something... Uh, light and fun or heavy and emotional or big and powerful like solar can kind of run the gamut of it but this is one of those spaces that i haven't seen a lot of from her other than because even her more powerful emotional tracks tend to have a real power like chest voice to them um and this is you know, pretty much dominantly from her head voice. Um, but it was really, really, really cool. Yeah, love this. Hold on. Um, okay. So next up, we have Moonbill's Deer. And these are tracks that came out and we've reacted to already on um, the Starlet of Muse reactions, but uh she's been re slowly releasing extra live clips for them and by she i mean moonbill Interesting, because wasn't this like where touching and moving kind of started too? But with a different vibe, obviously. I just finished watching Hotel de Luna. You can't do this to me. <laughs> oh. Her acting in this clip uh, and her performance has just been really emotive. Oof. I just finished watching Hotel de Luna. You can't do this to me. Oh, we're not getting the subtitles for that. Oh. 끊임없이 도전하며 치열하게 살아왔을 모든 정치자분들께 위로가 되길 바랍니다. 근심과 걱정은 잠시 뒤로 하고 오늘은 모두 좋은 꿈 꾸며 
잘 자요. 그럼 별디였습니다. Good night. If somebody has the translation of what she said there at the end, I would really appreciate that. Um, but like before we go on, right? Like I thought it was really kind of cool that it it felt like it was the same set as the subway set uh, from Touching and Even, but that they just changed the lighting for it, and it you know obviously gave off a completely different vibe. But it feels like she's like slowly connecting. A lot of these different videos from uh, touching it from Epic of Star or from yeah, Muse of Starlight uh, all together, and it's it's pretty cool, right? Um, it's also neat that like she's just slowly covering a lot of the B sides with content that we don't often get from uh, solo members especially it like months after the original album draw. Uh, so this is this is really nice. All right. Backpack. Oh, and I think this one might have come out earlier, so maybe this is before the bus gets back to where she is in Deer. Back where she started. Also, gotta say, red haired Moonbill moon is killing it. That hair color looks great on her. Um, okay. Yeah, wow. Um, both of those clips, right? Like, I think Moonbill is just so, so talented at being able to just kind of like, hey, we're going to um, do this very, very simple video. It's going to basically just be me singing in front of the camera and like 
if in the case of deer, literally a couple shots of B-roll of outside the train station and then me in the subway. And then for backpack, a couple shots, establishing shots, mostly on the bus, and then a couple of uh, outro shots to kind of move us along and out. And like, probably both of those were filmed in a couple of hours, but they were still like captivating. Um, her performance is fantastic. And as she's gotten so, so much better at singing, like the way she conveys the emotion to the viewer has also gotten so, so much better. Um, and she is just like all of Mama Boo is like downright deadly vocalists are insanely talented at all aspects. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for us for today, guys. So till next time, love you. Bye.